Good evening, Inside Wrestling fans. February 13th, Thursday night. The night before the uh, conference wrestling tournaments. Inside. It's here. We'll be uh, covering the Henlopen Conference this year by the, one of the hot tickets in Delaware is the Henlopen Conference tournament. Some people refer to it as the meat grinder. It's a pretty tough tournament. And we're going uh, to go through some of the brackets tonight. Three big weight classes we have a lot to talk about. 126, 132, and uh, 195. They look all, Jermaine, look pretty competitive. Uh, more than just semifinals, there's going to be some quarterfinal matches in that. And that'll take place day one, starting tomorrow. Um, so let's get after it. Let's start 106 pounds. Uh, no, 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 no burner here. Chase Arcangelo Smyrna is your top seed. Nick Clink, Cesar Rodney uh, will be your number two seed. And Alex Cressy, Milford, number four. Spencer Hahn, Polytech. Is, oh, sorry, is your number four, Cressy's three. Uh, Emerson Fajardo, Cape and Lopen, number five. Uh, Donnie Tingle, Sussex Tech. Tough it, kid. Yep. Number six. Um, probably, probably the way we saw it was coming. It's, I don't think there's any surprises in the seating here. Um, a big, uh, there is going to be a quarterfinal match in that one. Spencer Hahn from Polytech, the number four seed against Emerson Fajardo from Cape. They went to overtime during the regular season. Okay. Hahn came out on top, so. Uh, I'm sure we're going to have a camera on the mat for that one on Friday night. Absolutely, and Emerson does have a win over, over Cressy. So, uh, Got a late season win over Cressy, so it's... Um, That's a good one. And, uh, and, of course, Cressy and Emerson are going to be on opposite sides also. So <clears throat> that top half looks to be a little interesting uh, with uh, the, with that big match up there. Uh, 113, kind of surprised when big I saw surprise. that. Big surprise. but. Uh, Let's see what this guy can do with it. Jarek Lugo. Number one Lugo's seed. Lugo's the number one seed, Milford High School. Uh, number two, your defending conference and state runner-up, Jawan Massey, Sussex Tech. Uh, Nate Bryant, Smyrna, number three. Freshman, having a wonderful uh, year thus far, so uh, look out for him. And uh, a little surprise here, uh, number four, uh, with Johnny DeBerry out from Cesar Rodney, Mason Harrington, freshman, has filled in here the last week or so. He's your number four seed. Uh, Anthony Fisher from Dover, number five, and Losef Drain, Polytech. Um, I, a little surprise there with Lugo getting one, and then Mason Harrington coming in as the four. This, this bracket got shook up a little bit. Um, big, big semifinal match there. Uh, and then uh, Mason's no pushover for Jarek. I'm sure they really haven't wrestled, but uh, Jawan Massey and Nathan Bryan in the uh, semifinals is going to be a great match. It's going to be fun to watch. Fun to watch. Um, here we are, 120. Number one seed, Fleetwood from Smyrna. And uh, your number two, Cody Stevens from Polytech. We kind of kind of uh, foresaw that. Um, your number three seed, Jake Jack, Jack Brown. Brown from Sussex Central. Number four, Tyler Jump uh, from Sussex Tech. And then your number five, uh, Colt Colick from IR, Indian River. And the number six is Eric uh, Gloria from uh, Cape. Uh, barring anything crazy in this weight class, I think the battles for two. Uh, Brett Fleetwood's your, he's a three-time state champ, three-time conference champ. And, uh, you know, Tyler Jones got his work cut out for him to get to the finals. And then, um, you know, Stevens did give him a match last year in the conference finals. You know, he went out there and got the takedown. He battled. And, and uh, we'll see what Cody Stevens is made of this weekend. And here's a, a weight class. Um, Interesting. Go ahead and give them the rundown. Very interesting. 126. Othniel Edmund. You like to say that name. I love Othniel Edmund. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do next year. Somebody's got to come up with another Othniel Edmund name, something like that. This is a fun weight class. Um, he's the number one seed, unbeaten uh, here in the Hill Open. Um, you know, big wins over uh, Scott and Smusher. So he's beat, beat uh, those guys pretty uh, respectfully. Um, your number two seed is Andy Smusher from Polytech, and um, he's having a great season. Number three is Mike D'Antonio from Dover, and then your number four seed is William Ortez, Ortiz from uh, Sussex Central. And those this four is the guys, one, those four guys ain't out of the woods in this one. No, I mean you get your number five seed Justin Johnson. Um, he, he could just tear this whole thing up. Yeah, he's, and, a, he's uh, a bracket buster. Yeah, he's, and he's just he's so athletic, so strong, so quick. Um, you could you could you could very well see this kid in the finals. And uh, don't count out uh, Daquan Belly from Laurel, another uh, tough kid. So these four Avon Open North guys haven't seen him yet, so look out. Um, no, no Scott here. No Brandon Scott. We're not. We don't know the story. We can't tell you the story. We just know Brandon Scott is not wrestling this weekend. Um, 
he ended his career at the uh, state duels. We don't know what's up. He's a senior, so uh, I hope he's all right. You know, Scott is senior? Brandon Scott, I believe he's a senior. A junior. Yeah. He has one year left. Uh, I don't think you know, so. No Micah Height in this Eddie lineup. So, yeah, there's no Micah Height. I'll check on Brandon Scott, but I'm pretty sure um, he's a senior. So we, we're, we're just going to give you um, There's the There is some quarterfinal matchups here. Justin right. Johnson, William right. Ortiz, Friday night. That's going to be awesome. Mike D'Antonio, Daquan Bailey, Friday night. So, I mean, that's going to be uh, – Two, two big matchups uh, just to get to the semis on on uh, Saturday morning. So, um, you know, the Hill Open Conference, you're going to start to see some good wrestling day one. Uh, Brandon Scott final. is a senior. Brandon Scott is a senior, so you are correct. Yep. So, he, uh, you're right. In the season there. Yep. You know, uh, hoping to see a, another match between him and Othniel because uh, those two uh, yeah, always put on a show every time. There's it's like the same. They're just so much alike. It's it's amazing. Um, One thirty two is another another weight class that uh, it's going to be fun to watch this weekend. And of course, Tyler Carney is going to take the number one seed, Smyrna, defending state champ. Jordan Olfus, Dover, it was mm. the runner up against uh, Carney last year. Uh, Olfus has taken some losses yes. in this weight class, but he gets the nod at number two and. Um, Right now, uh, barring any upsets, his semifinal opponent could be number three, Bart Dallas, but we're going to talk a little bit later about uh, this this way class. And then number four, Jaquan Smith from Woodbridge. And um, then it gets uh, five, six, and seven get really I, tough. You know, I, and I, I like five, six, and seven. Number early. five, Sussex Tech's Hunter Robles. He is very tough. Um, he's one of those – Yeah, I don't want to give up his, his, uh, his PowerPoints, right. but uh, – you don't want to get caught underneath for that guy. No, he's a legger. Say. Yeah. Number six, Chris Eskew, Indian River freshman. Tough. Freshman, tough. Um, he's going to be ready to wrestle, and uh, he, he wants to make it to the state tournament, so uh, look for him to get after it. Number and seven, Josh Price, Polytech. Now, this, this is the crazy well, this is Well, this is what's interesting. Mm -hmm. Somebody's not going to the state tournament on, right. the, on this list. Seven and, tough and guys, all, somebody's not going. And, yeah. and let's just talk about some early round matchups. Uh, Quarterfinal matchup, number two, Jordan Olfus. We'll face number seven, Josh Price, who had a Price has, has a win over a, office. a dominating win over right. him at down in uh, Salisbury at the um, at the War on the Shore, and then you got the on the same half of the bracket, Bart Dallas, who dropped a match late season match to Chris Eskew of Indian River uh, in a dual meet. So I mean, you you could very well see number six versus number seven in the semis because they've got the wins over him so far, and. Um, that bracket uh, that shook out. Very, it's great for us because we're gonna we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna be good there. action for uh, day one. Quarter we're gonna finals. we're gonna have cameras on that one. So, uh, one thirty eight. This is also another deep, interesting weight class. Uh, top seed Tyreek Nelson Woodbridge. Solid. Uh, waiting for this guy to, to break through. He's you know being at Woodbridge. He's, you know we don't see him a lot. You, you know they're quiet and um, but he's uh, he's done what he's had to do. He's beat the people he's had to beat to be the top seed. And uh, he'll see number two Matt Wilson. Sussex Tech in that weight class. John Badger, big I pin in the like state, him, big yeah. pin in the state dual finals the other night. Um, number four, Elliot Young, Cape and Lopen, and number five, another freshman from Indian River, is tough, Zeke Marcosi. And there's another matchup we're going to watch Friday night. Marcosi had an overtime three-one decision over Elliot Young, Battle of the Beach down at Indian River, awesome. back uh, in December. So. Um, Thirty-eight is uh is going to be we got some good semis and we got some uh some uh, good, good quarters. quarters absolutely so we'll see uh so you got two Indian River freshmen looking to make a uh, trip to the state tournament and we'll see if they can get it done. One hundred and forty-five pounds it just <coughs> um gets more interesting as we go along here. Your number one seed is Justin uh, Bennett from Sussex Central with the win over Scarfo in the uh, earlier in the season so. Your number uh, two goes to Scarfo, defending uh, state champion, and uh, here's where some uh, some yeah. things got. Uh, there was some strategy, I think. Here, um, no question about it. You got uh, you got Lucas Munson as the number three seed, but you have the defending state runner-up, Kalen Wilson, number four, four seed. So you got Justin Bennett gets the number one seed, but he gets no break because the two state finalists are split on the bracket. So he, he's gonna he's gonna see. Possibly, uh, yeah. He, he, wants to, uh, he wants to win. He's got to get through Caleb Wilson. He's got to get through Tony Scarfo. Uh, but Scarfo's got to get through Munson too. And Munson can, uh, when Munson shows up, he can show up. It's great. So, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's a four-man. That those four guys in that bracket are a class of the bracket. 
but you know it, it shook out interestingly when they um when it all oh, came so through yeah. top and half, top and bottom half of that bracket is going to be fun Very let's well. uh not leave out mm -hmm. nick diego from kate he's uh seated number five and matt tall from uh, sussex tech gets the, the the nod at uh number six so again these guys are looking to make a uh entry into the state tournament 152 drexel bound defending conference champion willie davis woodbridge Number one seed. Uh, yeah, no, no surprise, guys. He's he's the man here. at One fifty-two. Gets no, uh, fun. Number two, JJ Curry yeah. from Cape and Lopen, uh well-deserved two seed. I think his only loss in the conference was to Willie Davis, but um, he had a tough match with Josh Hutchinson, who he could see in the semifinals. Uh, he's the third seed from Smyrna, another tough freshman, uh, ready to make a, an impact and. Uh, Davis, he's not out of the water yet because it's Brian Thompson. When Brian Thompson gets on top of you, Brian Thompson can uh, can go to work from Lake Forest. He's your number four seed. And it's still another weight class, six deep. Number five, Seth Mogul, Cesar Rodney. Um, when he gets on top, he can be dangerous. If the score's close and he's on top, he's a, he's a heck of a rider on top, mm. uh, and, you know, being a rider. So, And then number six, DeMarco Dorsey, Sussex Tech rounds out. That's your number six guy at um, – 152. Uh, 152, which is going to give us another interesting match that we haven't seen this year, quarterfinal match. Number four, Brian Thompson, Lake Forest. We'll see Seth Mogul, Cesar Rodney, the number five seed Friday night. And these are your day one matches that will take place uh, pretty pretty likely that um, these guys are going to meet in the quarterfinals. And those are some great matches. Yeah, it's not, I mean, they're, they're uh, usually Friday nights, you, you might get one, one or two, two, three, maybe, but. Uh, I'm, I'm, we're sitting here looking at about a, a dozen good yeah. matches. Um, Great matches that um, Friday night. Yes. 160, go ahead, Jermaine. 160, Austin Smith from Cape Penn Lopen, your number one seed. Um, he's going to be battle tested uh, against uh, Eli Hutchison, who's number two from Smyrna, another freshman. If he uh, makes it, because we have Seth Brosh as number three, and they're one on one against each other right here in the last week and a half. Well, no question about it. I'm going with the freshman sensation. Um, these guys are wrestling at a high level. Hey, Seth, prove me wrong. Right. Get it done. Right. Brocious is your number three. Number four seed here is uh, Bonville um, from Milford, who um, uh, this kid has the, the ability to, to sneak up on some folks. Yeah, um, uh, to see how his conditioning plays out, but he, he's uh, very quick. Austin Smith just missed last year, and um, – I'm sure he's hoping uh, that this year that will be uh, the year he comes through. He's looking for a conference title. Uh, 170 pounds. Justin Lopez from Cape Ann Lopen is your top seed. He was a runner-up last year. And that brings up an interesting semifinal on the other side of the bracket. Ronnie Weiss, Smyrna, Michael Clavier, CR, and two more guys that have, have split matches here in the last week and a half um, in two big battles. The... Uh, the showdown at Smyrna and then the uh, state finals uh, at Smyrna just Tuesday night. Um, and James Jenkins, number four in that weight class, Sussex Central. So he's experienced, but I'm not sure he's Lopez experienced. But Lopez came out with the mask that night, and Kendall Wicks gave him fits for uh, for two periods yeah. before Lopez got the, got got the, the stick. Yeah, right. well, definitely. He didn't seem to be too comfortable wearing that uh, face mask. Now, that's, I've wrestled one of those. It's hard to breathe. It's hard to see. Um, you know, he had one night to prepare with it. Now he's got two more days to prepare with it. But um, that's a tough way to go. So we, uh, Justin Lopez is the top seed at 170. 182. Woo! Fireworks. I love it. <laughs> Number one seeded. Sussex Central's Clay Conaway. Hey, he, he, you know what? He comes in the state and he, maybe, you know, maybe there's some question marks of is, is he one, is he two, is he three? Um, so the kid has proven himself and he's the number one seed here. And the question everybody's been asking all oh. January, all February, folks. Jaron Wilson's wrestling, defending state champ. Came back. He's back. He's on the mat. He okay. is your number two seed for Smyrna, and he, him, and Dalton Gregory had a pretty good match. Yeah. Yep. So that was uh, good to see. Um, man, he's he's trying to get a shot at another title. He's looking for number two, and uh, you know he's he's going to go. But he's got to get through Andre Flowers from Cape and Lopen to have a shot at that conference title and state title. Number four, Sabino from Lake Forest. This is a, this is a bump up, I believe. I think he wrestled seventy this year, didn't he? Or was he yeah, at 95? Yeah, I thought he was at 95 a yeah, little bit, was, so he yeah, came he, down. I mean, yeah, he was not at 82. That's a very interesting um, weight class for him. 
And uh, uh, we're going to talk about that because '95 is a '95 is a mess. It's got a lot. This so a good move for us. Good move. Yeah, I, I believe. And uh, when we finish here with '95 and the conference, I got a little a uh, little background information. Uh, something that's going to be interesting in '95 the state tournament. So but let's go to 195, and I think the 195, I think is the most competitive weight class from beginning to end, from the quarters to the end uh, in the high level conference this year. And there's no six guys that I believe any one of them has the, has the right time. They show up on Friday or Saturday. These six guys are all in the hunt. And it's going to start off with your top seed from Cape and Lopen, Aaron Mattione. Mattione is your number one seed. Um, he's, got a, he's got some uh, big shoes to fill. Uh, right underneath him, the kid that I like a lot, Jake uh, Troublefield, and gets the number two. Jake Troublefield, they had a pretty close match over Battle of the Beach for third place. So, um, Jake Troublefield, the number two seed. Uh, number three, another guy that can battle with all of them, Mark Molnack from Polytech. Absolutely. Um, this kid can wrestle. He's strong. He's, uh, he's a go-getter. So uh, I don't know who's going to be in the finals, to be, be quite honest. Yeah, because really, because uh, now you're talking number four seed from Sussex Tech, Ryan Parker. Another um, tough kid. Ryan Parker's got a win, I believe, over, trouble, over Troublefield. And then you can not you can never leave out the Riders. Craig Logan, he's had a... He's been on the he's been on the bottom end of some of these matches, but they were tight matches. Him and Maddie went to one point at the state duels in the semi the other night. And I'm gonna tell you, if I were to if I were to vote most improved or most impressive wrestler, um, not maybe not just in the Hill Open, but maybe across the state, Mark Help. Mark Help been at number six seed, so he's gonna see Molnack. That's gonna be a Friday night battle on 195 pounds quarterfinals, and Craig Logan, Ryan Parker, another they uh, they won. One point there, uh, right at the end of the season, with Craig Logan going for the flying squirrel. You don't see 195 pounders <laughs> going for the flying that. squirrel, but he, he took a shot at. He loses a one point match to Ryan Parker, and uh, and Bennett has a win over Logan. And Bennett, yes, has a win over Logan, and they, they again a week and a half they split. Yeah, yeah. But uh, Marvin Dooley has thrown the monkey wrench into 195. He brought his man Daniel Crawford, is wrestling 195 in the Blue Hen Conference. Mm. Um, was able to check it out tonight, and I kind of was watching him wrestle um, right. yeah, so, uh, this weekend, and I, or I'm sorry, Tuesday night, and I, was, I set off there to, uh, to Paul Kyer, what are the chances Daniel Crawford's going to leave 82 and go 95 and, you know, and, and chase um, Mattione and Troublefield and, and our uh, Bubba Mancini and Sally. So 95 has now not only become a tough and open weight class, Tough it's going to be across the state. probably the most exciting weight class because it's just going to be so deep and it's going to be every match is going to be so key in the state tournament. So uh, that's our vote. 95 is the most exciting weight class. It's the deepest because everybody is so evenly matched. Other than Mancini, right now Mancini has Absolutely. set himself above. Absolutely. But, uh, you know, you have to wrestle every match. Exactly. You got six or seven, eight wrestlers mm -hmm. that are we'll, – we'll find out tomorrow. Yes, we will. 220. Yeah. Thomas Ott, your man, Cape and Lopen, number one seed at 220 pounds. Two-time defending state champ. Oh, yeah, this is his house. Um, I mean, he's comfortable here. And uh, even though we've seen him wrestle uh, different weights for the team, he's wrestling 220 pounds, and um, he's nearly unstoppable at that weight class. Uh, number two is going to be Troy McNally from Cesar Rodney, another guy. He's another guy that's improved throughout the year. You know, he uh, yeah, yeah. You he, got me thinking about that Bennett statement. Yeah, he, he had a he had a big uh, you know that loss against uh, Carroll in the dual meet back in December, and um, I mean that was a tough loss for him. He you know lost on the locked hands, and he came back and avenged that loss in overtime Tuesday night, and not only for himself but for the team. Awesome. Um, so you know, here's a kid that has the ability to step up. Um, when it's time to step up, but he's going to get through uh, Seaford's only top seed in this yeah. tournament, Elijah Holbrook, 220-pounder uh, from Seaford. Um, Haven't seen a lot of them uh, this year. No, but, uh, no, you know, a lot of the South and North, they're not wrestling as much as they used to. Um, you, you'll see a match here and there, but not many of them. Uh, here's a Delmar, Robbie Moore. Oh, yeah. 220-pounder, uh, really athletic kid. Um, and, you know, he's, he's looking, he's going to get through Ott, but he's got to get through Zach Bell first from Sussex Tech. Uh, Zach Bell, um, he's also going back and forth for his team, um, you know, 220 heavyweight, and you know, where the team needed it, and then Cruz from Sussex Central rounds it out, and Jaron Carter, 12 seeds, Smyrna, so 
Not a great record, but you, know, you go back and you look at their matches. Oh, we look lots at them and lots of one point matches, Absolutely. two point matches. So Jaron Carter keeps it close, and you never know when this kid's going to step up and surprise somebody. That's not going to be a quarterfinal match. That's a first round first match. First round match. Zach Bell, Jaron Carter. Wow. Awesome. And 285. Go ahead. Zach Parker, he is the man. Defending state champ. Gotta love it, man. He's your number one seed uh, from Caesar Rodney, and uh, he's looking to go ahead and handle business. Uh, but number two, we got Carter from Smyrna, and um, he's having a great year. I yeah, think he's, he, he's, uh, he's, uh, he's having a really good year. I think he superseded my expectations. And then uh, number three, we got Nick Carroll from Cape Hill Open. Overtime match in the duel between Carter and, um, and Carroll, so. And then we got another uh, big heavyweight, Derek uh, Rabel from Polytech. So he, he's, he's carrying around his weight pretty good, and uh, he can be tough uh, coming into later periods of, of those matches with that weight. Um, so there you have it. One thing about the Hen Open Conference, and I, I talk about it all the time, there's always the upset in the Hen Open Conference. We see it every year, one or two of them. To, and they're not just, it's not in the finals, it's somewhere Friday night, it's somewhere in, in the semis. You know, and we're looking at some of these weight classes with seven guys that could not only make it to the state tournament, could be on the podium at the state tournament, and they're all right here. Oh, no question about it. I mean, a lot of these guys will be on, you know, uh, on the state po uh, podium. But uh, let's be let's be realistic. Some of these guys will not make the state tournament, and uh, I'll leave it at that. Right, you're right. <laughs> one thirty-two is and one ninety-five are worth the price of admission, just because. You've got six, seven guys that are state tournament quali quality, quality wrestlers, wrestlers and, and somebody's not, not going, coming. maybe a couple of them. You know, yeah. sometimes when you get those twos and sevens, both of them get, get bumped. Push, push you know, so, folks, we're here tomorrow night. We're going to be Matt side. We're going to catch you some of those big time matches. Not some of them, Benny. We're getting them all. Well, we're getting all the good ones. We're getting all yeah, the We're getting all, all the good ones. Uh, all matches. Four matches. Match. Tomorrow awesome. we'll be rocking. All righty. We'll do it big for you guys. And so, we're. Uh, are we live finals or what? Yeah, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll spice it up. We can't give them all the goods, man. No, no, but I, I, I think I might have. i got to call them one more time and confirm, and I'm going to have a, a broadcast partner. going to be a wrestling man, and uh, that everybody knows, and I think he's going to add a lot to the, uh, to the finals. But are we live streaming the finals, or don't we know yet? I'm going to make them wait. Yeah, because yeah, we got some of you guys that like to stay home. That's we right. need you in the stands. In the gym, that's right. Cause, uh, Live is for those fans that can't be here. That's right. They can't be here, and uh, there's there's a few of those guys that had to travel out of town for business purposes. Some of our college guys yeah. and some of our, you know, you know, our college guys out there that want to support their uh, their high school teams. But uh, if you are within 20 to 30 minutes uh, driving distance, from the conference, we expect you to be there. Yeah, getting there, fill that place up. It makes it. The Hell of a Conference is just one of the most exciting tournaments. Uh, for years, it's been called the meat grinder because it's just it is. the, the Hell of kids come to the state tournament beat up as they battle, and and you're, and you're going to see it because you're going to see some some of these small Southern Division schools. They've got one or two, three guys that can uh, can battle with people when they're going to. So come out, support these kids, fill the stands, and let's have a rock and finals on uh, Saturday night. My man.